I think I'm probably successful because I have a story to tell. So my two older boys were born 16 weeks early at 24 weeks gestation and spent 120 days in the neonatal unit. I will make a video that tells the boys story um, very briefly, but I put pictures in there and, um, and words that sort of tell the story. And I think that that uh, really pulls at people's heartstrings. We spend a lot of time talking to our friends and family and asking them for donations, giving them shout outs on Facebook, wearing lots of March of Dimes gear, yeah. and never passing up an opportunity to talk about the great work of the March of Dimes. This year we challenged Kevin Dooley, who's the executive director of the Columbus market, to a race to $1,000. He supported Ohio State while we supported the University of Michigan and we did a little bantering on social media and raised most of our money in those 12 hours or so. Some strategies that I used for fundraising that were really effective were giving context to why you're donating and letting those that you're asking know where the money is going, uh, why they should support you, things like that. This year I decided to do a March for Babies Madness um, tournament and they each bought brackets for a donation and so they can have some fun with it. I send emails to my very close family and very close friends and specifically ask them to give in honor of their healthy children. I can attribute most of my success to my beard, which as you can see is pretty full. Um, pretty soon I will hit my goal and I will be able to shave it. We post many, many times on Facebook and we always say, Please.